right here in Pensacola is the bay area here, there's the inlet right where Pickens right across from us. You can see some of the infrastructure down here. I don't think they have any gun placements still here. Uh, not actual guns, but there are some, uh, we'll see some when we go around the side over here. By the way, this is Pat Johnson. He's uh, local. a local that knows this area. I refer to him as the shepherd of the Florida 120. Your boat's name is Susie Q, right? Nope, half fast. Half fast, okay. Well, who was Susie Q? I don't know. Huh. But that's why you wanted to name the half fast cruisers. <laughs> I'm sorry? Bra rabbit and bra bear. All right. Pat showed me a little earlier a tunnel. I guess he's going to take me to the other end of the tunnel. Yeah. First, I'm going to show you the gun over here. Oh, okay. And the last time this fort was in use was in World War I. Two. Two. All this concrete part, the original Fort McRae is underwater, Civil War era. But Fort, uh, Fort McRae has a uh, World War II, all this concrete is a World War II stuff. Okay, watch out, I've seen a lot of glass, broken glass here. Yeah. Anyway, so all of this, all of the remaining ruins that are here today are from World War II. Okay. So what were these like? These were gun placements here? Some kind of bollards there or something. Okay, and that's a little basin that you're not really allowed to come into, right? You are allowed to, you can't use the motor. Right, okay, that's it. And there was some kind of stipulation that you couldn't. There's an interesting commanding view of around the whole area, doesn't it? So you're looking over there, you got the Gulf of Mexico in that direction. Okay. Then over here you got Big Lagoon, the inland water area here, heading towards Mobile. And over here you got, and this is... That's Sand Island on the other side of the boats. That's a spoil island. You can see, there's a sailboat. You can see the top of the mast. Right. That's the Pensacola land cut on the other side of the spoil island. Now that's where you typically are, where that motorboat is. That's typically where y'all go for the Florida 120. Right. Y'all anchor in that particular on corner that, over that there. side over there, uh-huh. Okay. But with the wind today, we decided to go up here. Okay. Anyway, the spoil island there, the intercoastal where all the barges and everything are, is where that sailboat's going across. Uh-huh. But this area over here is where all the big anchorage is. On Labor Day weekend, 4th of July, there'd be a thousand boats in here. That's pretty cool. So where's that Where's that other end of that tunnel at? Oh, we'll go back this way and get to it. And what the hell is this thing? Uh, Some, here. Something was underneath here. magazine or something there's a ladder going down oh, okay Look at the white caps out there in the Gulf uh -huh. getting some surf out there Be kind of nice. I'd like to see a re uh, kind of an artist rendition of what this place looked like when it was completely built. Yeah, over at the uh, Aviation Museum or over at Fort uh, Bar Barrank is from the Navy base. Uh huh. They got some. They got some archaeological drawings of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some actual pictures. I mean, World War II. Yeah, that's true. So originally, though, this this the the the, the Civil War fort was under the water. Yeah, it's over in the past. Okay. Big guns on Fort Pickens, they were close to the water originally. Hey, we got a survey marker here. Florida Department of Natural Resources. That's a survey marker here, so this is 
definitely marked off. big bird <laughs> oh yeah 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 that was a uh, that was definitely sitting on some some kind of wheel or and you can see like there's another one over there the concrete embankment oh is this the other end of the tunnel Okay, so the, so this tunnel goes through to the other side, yeah. and uh, probably 100 and 150 feet. So you, so what, what do you think that was a tunnel, or do you think that was actually like living accommodation? Well, I'm sure that's where the magazine and all that kind of stuff was. So it wasn't really so much a tunnel as much as it was a storage area for. Right. I'm sure there was all kinds of buildings and stuff here, but originally I'm sure the, uh, you know, the shells and stuff like that. Right. Probably kept in there. This is pretty cool. And you got, looks like what would have been consistent with some kind of roadway or something through here. Yeah, I'm sure that there was all kinds of uh, traffic. You know, yeah, it's something that trucks to bring, bring ammo and stuff like that. Okay. The old concrete wall there, yeah. Hey, it's kind of funny when you think about it. World War II, why would they have had a wall like that? I think it was probably more for erosion. Oh, okay. Cause it, than it was for uh, defending. Yeah, because a concrete wall for defense, yeah. you know, unless you have a full-scale invasion, which I don't think they were ever anticipating. Now we're sitting, we're standing on top of something here. Well, again. Oh, okay, there's another ro rotary. There's the boats. There's my boat there. There's Pat's, the two Pat boats. So this must have been like a howitzer or something like that that was sitting on this that would spin around and had full view of the of the channel. <laughs> These must have been building foundations here. Yeah, I'm not sure. um, this kind of looks like it when you when you see the stem wall up there and you see some bolts uh -huh. coming out. It looks like that's some kind of wall or something. Sort of structure there. And then you got a pipe here. Uh -huh. So this may have been another one. Yeah, this. This may have been the head. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Uh, I really haven't paid too much attention to the uh, actual original structure. Well, this is really cool, Pat. I appreciate you giving me a little tour. Now, you know this will make YouTube. <laughs> anyway, they get a pretty good idea of the wall. Again, I think it was more for uh, erosion protection than it was for defending. Yeah. Hey, it's not really high wall. Well, it might have been lower, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is... All well, dunes up there, kind of dunes that came in. Yeah, well, or that was dredged. Mm-hmm. Spoil stuff. 
There's Pat walking towards my boat. Pat, you looking for us? We're on the way. We're coming back that way. We could have taken a shortcut, but I don't think either one of us wanted to jump. <laughs> <laughs> and you must have feet on you. You must have leather pads for feet. Battery center, 1899 battery of four 15 pounders. You were here. That's the walkway we just came through. So where is that tunnel at that we saw? Or is this? Yes. That's the tunnel right there. Mm -hmm. And that would be where with regards to? Well, the tunnel is going to be right over here. Okay. Battery, oh, that's the battery. Okay. Battery 233. Anyway, the tunnel. So it came through there. Okay. Battery s slimmer? Slammer. Slimmer. Slimmer? It looks like what? We're sticking out of the ground over yeah. there. But these 1898, so this is, I mean, it's post Civil War, but. Mm -hmm. Well, that's 1898, yeah. 1940s, 1899, right. 15 power. Most of this concrete's all from World War II. Here's the Confederate troops at, at Fort McRae here, 1830, but that you said that was over yeah, towards the water area. The water, uh -huh. Okay. It's been uh, pretty well continuously occupied. It's just that World War II and further west. Right. They pretty much abandoned this after World War II. Yes. And unlike Fort Pickens, where they actually turned into a park, this was basically kind of a forgotten, forgotten it's a fort. National seashore. It just isn't maintained as a park. Yeah. It's a, 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 I was reading somewhere they referred to them as forgotten forts. Yeah. They got several of these around the Gulf Coast. Where the, I guess the Park Service doesn't maintain them. Uh, did you want to take a look at the, what up here was the uh, tunnel? That's no, okay, I got it from the other end. Okay, okay I think I'm going to come up here and take a look at this and, and get a shot of this sign up here. But this is really cool, thank you, Pat. Originally this went down to a wharf. Mm-hmm. They would unload the uh, stuff on the trucks or jeeps and drive it up. Right. Okay, so we still don't know what the blue way is, but well, we're at the end of it, so. And here's the Fort McRae. The site of Fort McRae has disappeared into the Gulf. This part of the Gulf Island National Seashore, however, still bears the name of the 1800s fortification that protected the entrance to Pensacola Bay with Fort Pickens and Fort Baracus. Uh, McCree's walls are gone, but the remains of the coastal barriers built in 1890s during World War II still stands. So there you see, pretty interesting. So at this, I'm gonna go ahead and log out.